Hello, my name is Jat T. Jones from HowToGetAGirlfriend.org and today we're doing another email uh, video. So, hi Jad, you always help me out with your advice. I do have a lady in my life. We've been seeing each other for eight months. It's a long distance relationship, but we hook up at least twice a month. Not bad. The problem is she has these moods. I need advice on what I should do when they come. She loves me and I love her too. Okay, okay. So, some girls love drama. Some girls love drama. If the relationship is going too well and too smoothly and you never fight and you never, you know, they get bored. And they create drama out of thin air because they enjoy that feeling, that emotional feeling. So how to deal with it? Before I answer how to deal with it, first you need to decide, is that something you're willing to tolerate and put up with? Chances are she's not going to change. So you want to decide, is that something you're willing to tolerate? Uh, a very moody girl or a girl who, who, yeah, a girl who's up and down or who loves drama. Personally, for me, I can't handle it. It's too much for me. It's a distraction. It really bothers me and, and I, just, I, just, I just can't tolerate it. So for me, I don't like girls who, who like drama, right? I need someone who's stable like me. So, but now if that doesn't bother you and you're willing to deal with that, then how do you deal with the drama is you simply stand through it like a storm. So when a woman is upset, it's like a storm. The feminine, why they call mother nature, mother, because the feminine is nature. So nature is wind, clouds, rain, hurricane, tornado, earthquake, okay, sunshine, spring, you know, so a woman's emotions are like a storm sometimes. So as a man, when the storm comes, you, the worst thing you can do is react and also become a storm because then you have a hurricane and another hurricane colliding and there's no, like, there's no solid object that anyone can hang on to. So when a woman gets emotional, your job as a man is to stand strong, stand firm, and be as unaffected as possible and be that pillar of strength, that foundation, that immovable foundation that the wind can't move. So if your woman is upset or whatever she's feeling, you just need to be present with her and present through that emotion. So if there's screaming and there's yelling and there's crying, just be there with her. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to change it. Definitely don't push against it or fight against it or say that it's wrong or judge it. You simply have to be that present, non-judgmental awareness. And just like picture like a big pillar of concrete and then the wind, the, the wind doesn't affect it, right? The wind blows and blows and blows. Or you can picture yourself like a tree and then there's a wind and you just, you take it and then Eventually the storm, all storms subside. Every storm subsides. So you just have to stand through the storm and not become like her and, and start throwing the drama back because then it all goes to a mess. You be the calmness in the face of the storm. And then the storm will subside and then she will, your, your woman will, will regain presence because anytime someone is angry or sad or crying or hysterical they've lost presence they've lost touch with the present moment so they're gonna go crazy and stuff and then once all that is out they're gonna wake up and then they're gonna realize and then they're like whoa okay 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 i'm back i'm back okay because emotions when they override us we're no longer us we're overridden by our emotions that's why it is said you are overridden by your emotions because they take you over and then when they subside you're like whoa okay whoa and then you look and you <laughs> you know your fist is bleeding and you just punch the wall 
and there's a hole in the wall, right? And you're like, wow. So you need to just stand through the storm, be the pillar. Uh, a good book for being present is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. And this whole analogy, uh, I learned it from David Data. He is the author of one of the best books any man can read, which is called The Way of the Superior Man. So I highly recommend that book to all of you guys. David Data, The Way of the Superior Man. And he talks about feminine, masculine energies, and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that's very helpful. So that's my answer for that, my friend. This is Jad T. Jones from howtogetagirlfriend.org. Go check out my website for more artic articles, videos, and download my free ebook and join my weekly newsletter where I give free tips which are nowhere else on YouTube. Okay, take care.